Doug. Look at this. Louise awesome chop. And he loves his toys. Loves. So we've heard some interesting things about uh, Yogi here and some of the aggressions that he has. We're not seeing too much of the aggression. Every once in a while, he'll kind of reach for me with his teeth or something, or he'll fight putting on the snout harness, but that's really all the aggression we're seeing uh, at this point in the game. So, but he's been a good boy all day. Come here, come here, come here. Stop, no, stop. And he loves his toys. And the awesome thing about the snout harness is he can still play with his toys. And this is just a way letting him get out of the crate for a little while. He's only been here a couple days, 48 hours. Which one you want? Which one? You want that one? There you go. Good. Whoever trashed this dog, whoever treated him the way they did, you threw away a pretty good dog here. Alright, so I'm giving him a minute or two to calm down, giving me a minute or two to regroup. I'm not going to trust him anymore outside of this crate unless he's got a snout harness on. He's got to show me a couple few days of no resistance before I let him out of there again without a snout harness. So. Good boy, Luca. Good boy. Good job. Good. Do you hear the whine? I want to come out. I want to play. That's what that is. That's what that whine is. Yeah, I want that. Yeah. Change the mind. Change the mind. Let the pack do it for you. Luca, back over here. Try it again. Good. Nice and easy. Come. No. Okay. So now with the snout harness on, we can lock these mouths up. We don't have to worry about the mouth as much. I can relax, he can relax, he can relax, and it makes a better environment. Now, he's kind of fighting the snout harness a little. I'm giving no energy to this. 
I'm rubber band arming this. That's all I'm doing. The talking that I'm doing to the camera is probably actually why it's lasting so long. Normally, there's no energy. Like that. Good. That's a boy. And all is forgotten. Except for the knowledge that he could every once in a while, when he's tired, act very difficult. For somebody who doesn't know what they're doing and do not do any of this that you saw here, this is very dangerous. This is for professionals only. I'm able to read how far I can push him without pushing him so far over the line that he feels as though the only response he has is to fight back. I don't want that. He's got to know he can't put his teeth on me. Doing an awesome job. You are. You're doing an awesome job. You're a good boy. This is my number two. This is Luca. No. Over. Over. Not sure who growled there. I think it was him. That's what makes up the pack. Now he's pushing up against me. I'm not going to let him do that. I'm not going to let him do that. That's an ownership thing. So that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So come on, lay down. That'll be good. Good. So I just actually held his mouth shut so he had no choice. Stop. Good. And then he rolled over. He's no problem. As soon as he rolled over and went on his side, I let his mouth go. This is an awesome safety for this kind of training. It's absolutely unbelievable that nobody has ever used these things for training purposes. This is a safety on a string, and it's an awesome one. Now I can be more confident working with the dog. I don't have to be concerned about working with a dog that has a history. I can do it with some of the pack out here and I can do it safely. So every morning before I feed these guys, I kind of let them loose between the living room, dining room, and kitchen to kind of let them run around, especially when it's so hot out. We haven't been able to do that with Yogi because he is on the untamed side. We're still working on him. He's big enough to literally just put his head on any of the tables and grab whatever he wants. That's how big he is. So we have to be cautious with him. We absolutely have to be cautious with him. Uh, especially with his aggressive tendencies that we were re reported to us there. Guys, come on. Loon is trying to teach him how to play, but he's not quite sure how to play yet. Uh, Boomer, 
take it easy, boy. Boomer, take it easy. No. That was a growl. This is play talk. He doesn't know these things. He has never been taught these things. No. See the ears go back? No. No. Luna, up. Luna, up. He doesn't know these are playthings. Luna. He's been watching for a little while. Kind of, he's on the level of he can, no, no, no. Awesome thing about these, slide the clip up, lock it down, and it keeps the mouth closed. So now I'm gonna let him go through this without the ability of using his mouth at all. No. Stop. No. Hey, Yogi. Yogi. Capone, I don't need to hear that over there. No. No. Come on, big boy. Yogi, come. Nope. Come here, Yogi. Why? Because that made it worse? <laughs> go ahead, boy. There you go, boy. Good boy, Boomer. Good boy, Boomer. This is our daily routine. We go out around 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. Let them get a drink of water. Let them go potty. And then we go collect eggs and give the uh, chickens kind of a midday meal there. Good job. Slow down. So what I just did there, Luna, over here, is I put my foot on the leader just to slow him down. And it works. It works very, very well. Sit. That's Yogi. And he's doing awesome here. Good. You did an awesome job. You did an awesome job. Come on, Lucy. Come on, guys. Sierra, get out of there. So he wants to still chase after chickens and such which is why we still need a short leader on them and a snout harness. All right, come on. Come on, guys.